this video, I'm looking at the new extension here from Twintronics called Twintronics Shortcuts. Now, this is one of the top 10 new extensions that I did a review for for uh, March 2014. So you can get to this at the Twintronics.com website, hovering over extensions and Twintronics shortcuts. Now, this particular extension slash component, extension more so, it, it gives you a whole bunch of shortcuts that you can configure in the back end of Joomla. Now, this is administration shortcuts such as clearing the cache or global check-in or so many more things that you can configure and create for yourself in the back end of Joomla to make administration of your site just that little bit easier. Now, there are some minimum requirements in regards to uh, PHP versions and MySQL versions and you can see them here on the Twintronics uh, website. Now I'll just go ahead and download this. In fact, I've already downloaded this a little bit earlier, but I'll just go to the downloads area and you can download the latest release of this extension. I uh, click on view files here and just scroll down a little bit and I can see the version that I want here uh, for Joomla 3.2. So I'll just click download Just hit save and that will just save quickly to my desktop. Okay, now I have a local copy of Joomla already pre-configured and installed here. So I'm just going to go ahead and install this extension. So I'll click on extensions, click on extension manager, make sure I'm on the install, choose the file that I want to install. And what was this called again? Comtx. Great, upload and install. And there we go. So we have a couple of uh, little messages right after here. Thank you for installing. And we can see the documentation on the website as well. So I'll just load that up in the background. Now, I haven't looked at this extension yet, so I don't know exactly how it works. I'm hoping that it is intuitive enough that as soon as I get into it, I'll be able to create a new shortcut or play around with some configured, pre-configured shortcuts, I hope. All right, let's have a look. Components. Twintronics shortcuts. Great, some mandatory acceptance here. So I'll just click accept. Great, now um, it's stepping me through uh, some documentation, step-by-step -step process, so step one, two, and three. Great, so um, I'm going to ignore <laughs> the documentation. I know developers absolutely hate that, but let's go set up a profile first. Great, I guess I'll click on you. I'll call this one test. Published. Alias keys, alt enter, escape. Great, okay, that's that looks like some keys I need to configure. All right, save and close. Cool, so I have my test one set up. Let's go to the next step. Set up categories. Once you've set up your profiles, you can create and edit categories to your liking, click on set up categories, okay. So I'll set up a category, I'll go create a new one and I'll call this shortcuts. Save and close. Uh, uh, okay, cool. Save and close. Great, okay. Let's close that window. I guess I could just go across up here as well. So I just did the categories. I'll go to import shortcuts. Cool, all right. Let's just go through this process. US English, all right. That's my only option. Select browser, common, all right, the only option again. And import shortcuts. So let's see what we've got here. So components, plugins, and tools. Let's view the shortcuts that we have here. Great, so these are all pre-configured ones. So I can purge the case with Alt-P, global check-in with Alt-G. All right, great, that looks good. I'll try that. Uh, I won't use a logout one for now. And let's import those shortcuts. Ah, please select category, okay, cool, shortcuts. It's a category that I added in before. Cool, looks good. Okay, let's have a look at what shortcuts I have. And let's see this in action. So the shortcut key is Alt-P. So when I hold Alt or a Command on the Mac, I guess. Oh no, there's Alt, the Option key, and P. Cool, I can see the browser doing something. All right, so I'm assuming that cleared my cache. Now I've got global check-in here. Now I deliberately... Uh, checked 
uh, had some items locked here in regards to that. So if I go Alt G, checked in two items. All right, cool. Refresh page. Fantastic. All right, that really works. Let's try that again. Right, hit the back. So when I hit back, it automatically locks it to that user. And I'll try that again. Alt G. One item checked in. I can see it's locked. Hit OK. Wow, all right, that's that's really cool. That's that's a really quick and easy way. These shortcuts are going to be very, very useful. Let's see if I can create a shortcut for myself. Maybe some, maybe a shortcut that goes straight to content, article, and news, so I don't have to click on that menu process there. So maybe Alt A can be my shortcut for that. Let's let's see if I can make that. Click on shortcuts. Click on new. Right, okay, so it's got me a whole bunch of different things that I can do at the moment for it. So let's try components. Components, category, shortcuts, title, create new article, keyboard shortcut, Alt A. Maybe I have to type in Alt plus A. Public, backend, element selected, or oh, okay, components. Right, okay, so this is where I drill into the specific components that I want. So I want com content. So articles. Cool, doesn't look like I can do anything else at the moment. Let's give that a go. Save. Cool, save and close. Let's see what happens now. So Alt A should give me something. Alt A. Ah, it takes me to components. Okay, all right, that's interesting. So it takes me to the particular area, but not to creating a brand new one. So maybe it works on uh, specifically uh, giving me, uh, actually, I don't know yet. Probably, <laughs> this is probably where I have to look at the documentation itself. But I can see here already that uh, it, it's, it's going to create really cool, quick shortcuts uh, to allow me to get from one area of the site to another. Let's go into that one more time and see if I can create another shortcut that specifically does a particular function rather than just uh, taking me to a part of the site. Okay, so let's click on shortcuts again and click on new. Let's see what they have back here. Let's go another. Oh, okay, this is redirection, navigation shortcuts. Got you, okay. Let's click cache, navigation. Custom JavaScript plugins, shortcut cheat sheet and tools. All right, so all of these ones that I look like I did before, it will just redirect me to a certain part of the site. So I'm guessing URL would redirect me to a, a different URL URL that I specify uh, in the in the parameters itself. So let's go here and I'll find the URL for this. Copy, copy your link address. Click on URL, and this is a backend one. Cool, so create new article and I'll bracket should work. URL, category, shortcuts, shortcut key. Let's make it alt, alt plus uh, Z because I already used A for the other one. Shortcut URL, I'll just paste this in. So that's the full URL with the local host. Okay, let's see if this works here. So I'll go save. All right, so I press Alt Z. Looks like it's loading and it's taking me to add a new article. All right, that's absolutely fantastic. This is going to save a whole bunch of time in regards to switching around different parts of the site, navigating from one bit to the other. Uh, it, it, this could also improve or help really improve accessibility on a website as well in regards to creating all these shortcuts so users don't have to uh, tab through an entire site to be able to get to one particular area. For example, I can go to the front end of the, my Joomla site here, start tabbing through all these bits and pieces and as a shortcut, instead of uh, tabbing or control tabbing back backwards through this, I could have just... Uh, did a shortcut key and gone back to the search bar. So this is actually pretty cool. I can see a lot of extra benefits from using this component. And uh, at the mean moment, at the moment, I believe it's still in release candidate. So uh, it's uh, it's free at the moment. And uh, hopefully, 
it stays free. Uh, this is a really cool nifty tool. Even if it's a, there's a small fee behind it, I think it would still be quite useful to add on to your arsenal of really cool extensions that you use on your Joomla site. So thank you for this fantastic extension. Uh, I'll be definitely adding this one to my list of favorite extensions of all time, I think. I can see this one becoming quite powerful. All right, so until next time, everyone, please keep your website safe and secure. And if you like this video, make sure you like and, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and visit the Joomla Beat website at joomlabe.at. All right, thanks. Bye.